Hey guys, good morning. This is Dan from Ledger Support. How are you today? So in this video, I'm going to show you very simply how to recover your Ledger accounts uh, with your recovery phrase into your Ledger device that has been reset. Um, so resets, they can happen for a number of reasons. In my case, I'm going to manually reset the device, but it can also happen that your device reset after a uh, firmware update, especially if your device is running a very old version of the firmware. In this case, uh, resets might happen. And that's why, by the way, we recommend that you always have your recovery phrase with you before you proceed to a firmware update. Okay, um, so just a few words about my setup here. I've got my L Ledger Nano S Plus with me, but the steps are exactly the same on a Nano S or a Nano X or any future device, right? What's important is your recovery phrase because, again, your recovery phrase is the private keys to all your accounts. So that's the phrase that we want in, um, that I want in my device in order to gain access to my accounts again. Uh, cool. Uh, also, sorry about the flickering on the screen. I tried to fix it, wasn't able to, so I hope that's not gonna uh, diminish the quality of the video. If you have any any tips on how to diminish uh, flickering, uh, please drop that in the comments as well. Uh, I'd be very interested to hear from you guys. Uh, but yeah, I hope the video uh, won't be too affected. So anyway, I'm going to start and I'm going to reset my device here. So I'm going to do it by just typing three wrong pins into the device, which will trigger a automatic reset. Here we go. So you can see it says invalid pin device reset. Please restore the device from your recovery sheet, which is the recovery phrase, right? Uh, restart device. So here we go. By the way, this is a security feature is to avoid that someone might be able to brute force the device by just trying a number of different pins. So you only have three chances. Okay, so the device has reset now and I'm back on the welcome screen. I'm going to scroll through those different menus here and screens. And what I want is this. This is the option that I want, restore from recovery phrase. Uh, just so you know, guys, some people make the mistake of selecting setup as new device. If you select this, basically your device will create a new recovery phrase and seed that recovery phrase into the device. This will not give you access to your old accounts. What you want is to put the old recovery phrase into the device. Okay, so don't select setup as a new device. What you want to select is restore from recovery phrase. So I'm going to go ahead, click that. Choose. So next step is to choose my pin with four to eight digits. It can be the same pin as before, a new pin. In my case, I'm going to choose a four digit pin. Um, for you guys at home, I would suggest uh, eight digit pin. It's more secure, but in my case, it's just a work device. So I don't really need a super secure pin. I just need quick access. Okay, enter your recovery phrase. Select the number of words written on your recovery sheet. So in my case, it's 24 words. Uh, just so you know, sometimes we get questions from people that started their crypto journey with MetaMask. And so they got uh, this MetaMask account with a 12 word recovery phrase. Uh, I think MetaMask call it a, a secret seed phrase, but it's the same concept basically. Uh, and they have like a lot of funds and maybe NFTs on their MetaMask account secured by that 12 word recovery phrase. And so they, they might be asking, hey, what if I just, you know, go into the 12 words here and just input my MetaMask recovery phrase into my device? My answer is please do not do it. This is unsafe. Uh, MetaMask recovery phrases, those 12 word phrases, they're not safe to use in a device because they've been online. And so you will never be sure that um, maybe your computer was uh, seeded with malware, that I saw the phrase at some point. Uh, so please do not, you know, those MetaMask recovery phrases, they are not safe to import into a Ledger device. The only thing that should be in your Ledger device is either a 24-word uh, recovery phrase that was generated by a Ledger device or by another hardware wallet, like a Trezor or a cold card wallet. Okay, I just wanna make this clear. It's very, very important. Okay, so in my case, I'm going to go ahead and select 24 words. And so the first word on my recovery uh, phrase is base. But I just wanna show you what if I um, don't select the correct words. So instead of typing base, I type, uh, I don't know, pace, or packed, okay. So if that's the case, no big deal. You can clear the word and you'll go back to the same step. Okay, so step number one, and then you can try a different word. Um, however, if you, if instead of typing 
space, I make the mistake of typing, I don't know, basic. Okay. Then the, the, the device will not tell me anything. It will just let me go through the entire 24 words, but at the end it will say invalid recovery phrase. And so I have to start all over again. Okay. So it's very important that you select the correct word just right at the bat. So in my case, that's base. Um, also, if after you finish typing all the words in your recovery phrase into your device, you get an uh, invalid recovery phrase message, it could also be because you didn't follow the, 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 the numbers, like you didn't follow the proper number, uh, the proper order on your recovery phrase, you know, 1 to 24. Or it's because one of the words on your recovery phrase has been badly spelled. In this case, you can use this list here. It's called the BIP39 list. You can see it here, BIP39 word list. This list is basically, it basically lists all the different recovery words that can ever exist and compose a recovery phrase. So if the recovery phrase uh, return uh, is invalid, then you can check the spelling of each word against the list. That's a cool tip. Um, yep, so back to setting my ledger, um, seeding my ledger device here. I'm going to finish uh, typing all the words offline and I'll be back in a second. All right guys, so I'm about to enter the last word on, from my recovery phrase into my device. So the last word is slice and I just hope that everything went okay and I didn't make any mistake, we'll see. If I made any mistake, the device will let me know immediately. Okay, looks like it's working. So it says processing. Okay, your device is ready. So I'm good. I can go to the dashboard. You can see all my apps are gone, which is normal. So I'll have to go back into Ledger Live and just reinstall the apps one by one. Uh, basically, it's easy. You just go into the manager, connect your Ledger device, reinstall the apps. Don't worry, your coins are safe. Um, Re like like the apps, your coins don't depend on the apps that's installed on your Ledger device. So you can safely reinstall the apps and you're just good to go. Um, just so you know, if you were using the Ethereum app and you had blind signing enabled, uh, blind signing needs to be re-enabled again because the device has been reset and the app has been suppressed. So just a quick tip here. Uh, and that's it guys. So I'm going to go ahead and reinstall my apps and I wish you all a good day. If you have any questions, you can reach out in the comments or uh, directly on Twitter at ledger underscore support or um, directly on the help center. Um, I hope that was useful and have a good day. Cheers.